So over the last couple of years, T-Smart have let us review a couple of their KVM switches. We've always been really impressed with some of the features they offer. And recently, they reached out to us to see if we wanted to check out one of their new models. Now, we're not getting paid for this review, but T-Smart have kindly customised this KVM with our branding, something we're really happy about. So we're going to just check out this product today and show you how to use these dual KVM switches and how advantageous they can be for your desk setup. So this model is the dual 4K 60Hz monitor, so it'll control two 4K 60 monitors and allow you to switch between two different PCs. Now your box may be slightly more plain than this because I believe this box was made for us for this particular type of branding. So as you can see, presented to Mesh IT, which is quite a nice feature. And if I open the box, here we go. We've got it in the beautiful red color. It also comes in black and we've got our nice Mesh IT logo on there. So thanks T-Smart for doing that for us. Now, I think it looks absolutely amazing in the red, but if you want something a bit more muted, the black does also look pretty good. So I'm just gonna put that to one side. We're gonna take a look at that in a second. So whilst I'm unboxing this, I wanna just quickly talk about the reason they've sent out this branded actual uh, KVM switch. They've currently got a 10th anniversary VIP promotion going on. I'm gonna put a link to it in the description down below, just in case you wanna go check that out. And that gives you special benefits and offers at the moment through T-Smart. So inside the box, we've got another couple of little boxes. I'll just take those both to one side. And obviously the manual. In the smaller box, we've got our UK power supply. You'll obviously get your country's power supply version for this actual KVM. And we've also got a remote control. Because with this KVM switch, you've got a number of ways to actually switch between the monitors. And we will discuss that in a little while. But I particularly like doing it with a remote control. It does make it very easy. In the bigger box, these are the cables that we are going to need to set up our twin monitor and twin PC setup. So as you can see here, we've got our first, we've got our first decent HDMI cable for our 4K60 monitor. There's another decent HDMI cable for the second 4K60 monitor. And then for the actual inputs, you can see here, we've got KVM with a USB 3. So you've got an A and a B on there and then the same for the next PC. Now that's one of the biggest new features on this new KVM switch over the previous version we looked at about a year ago. One of the biggest gripes was it was only USB 2 switched between the two PCs. And a lot of people in this day and age want a USB 3 so they can share uh, maybe a USB drive or something with a bit more higher throughput rather than just a keyboard and mouse. So now we've got that opportunity. And particularly if I just go through this, but we'll talk about this first, we've got a USB 3 on the front now this can be really handy. So if you want to share a 2.5 inch SSD between your two PCs, plug it straight into the front and you're away. Now also on the front, you can see we have got a power switch, which is a nice switch on this model. You've got infrared so that you can change it with the remote control, which we'll look at in a little while. We have also got a select button. And as you can see, we've got an A and B button so you can switch between them via the buttons on the front. Now, if we look to the actual back, you can see it can be quite daunting. There are a lot of ports on the back, but you need this to set this entire system up. We've got our 12 volt DC input from our power adapter. And then here you can see we've got our A and B displays and two USB 2 ports. Now that's for your keyboard and mouse and another USB 3 port. So you can have two decent USB 3 devices and two USB devices plugged into this switch. Then over this side of the actual KVM, you can see we've got our input A and input B for PC2, and input A and input B for PC1, as well as the USB B cables for each of those as well. So hopefully this makes sense for each one of these. So there's our first PC, there's our second PC, and that is the output to the monitors and devices. So although it's quite daunting when you first look at it, it's actually very straightforward. So now we've looked over this device, I'm gonna cut straight to my actual desk setup, and we're gonna put this to use. Right, so we're all fully set up. Now I've set my desk up for a productivity desk and we have two 4K 60 Hertz monitors 
full productivity set up on this desk. As you can see, I've got my main monitor in front of me and another one pivoted 90 degrees just off to my left. Now, obviously, if you've got a lot of desk space, you can have them both horizontally side by side, or you could stack them one above the other. My desk, I'm a little bit tight for space, which is why I have one spun 90 degrees. It's also very good if I'm coding, I can have a lot of code or a lot of different information down the side. So I find it really handy. Then just off to the right, I've got my MacBook. That's one of my inputs, which is actually currently selected now. And then just to the other side of that, I've got my gaming PC, just a tiny little ITX PC. Now I've got it on a nice riser, because the biggest thing I find whenever you're using a KVM or a, even just an ordinary dual monitor setup with a single PC, you've got a lot of cables clustering up the back of the desk. So by having one of these nice stands that I can put my KVM under, keep the remote control all on or wherever else, it's a nice way of keeping it nice and tidy and keeping that cables out of the way. And to keep things even tidier, I'm using a tiny little wireless keyboard and mouse setup. That's plugged straight into our T-Smart KVM. So whenever I switch between the PC and the Mac, the keyboard and mouse are active with the current monitors. Now obviously on the box, it does say that it can power up to two 4K60 monitors. So great for a productivity setup like we've got here, but you're not limited to that. Maybe you might want a gaming setup and have a second display off to the side and also plug in your work PC, in which case you can use high refresh monitors, such as my Alienware OLED display with my 1080p 240Hz display to the side. It all still works perfectly, as long as you're not using more than that HDMI 2 bandwidth, there is no problems with whichever displays you choose to use. And also, although we have two 4K60 HDMI ports from this actual T-Smart, T-Smart have such an incredible range, they'll probably have one to suit your ideal setup. You may just want a single monitor, keyboard and mouse to switch between three or four PCs. They offer that. You maybe want one with display ports. There are plenty of other options available. You're not limited to the one we've got reviewing here. Right, so now we've talked about the setup, we're gonna show you how easy it is switching between the devices. Now, as you can see, I have my Mac currently selected. So I've got my MacBook over here. I've got my main display and my side display. It works just like any multi-monitor setup, so I can just move my mouse between any of the three. You set it up within the display properties. So if I just quickly show you that, put it on the main screen to make it easier. Looking at the displays in the system's preferences, you can see that I have all of my displays readily available here and I can select which is my primary and I can move uh, where they are around. So if you've got one display above the other, you, you can do all of that in your display properties and you get fully functioning desk layout. Now that we've actually set up our actual monitors to how we want them, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to switch between the two. To start with, I'm gonna use the actual remote control. This is my favorite way of switching. Now at the moment, you can see we've got PC one selected. All I do is press two and switch from the Mac to my PC. And I'm in. If I wanna go back again, I can just switch back to one. And you see we're switching back on the front, we're straight back on the Mac. Everything's exactly where I left off, all of my windows where they were. So I'm gonna go back to my PC again by number two. And again, Windows set up, if you're used to multi-monitors, I can just literally flick between the two monitors I have set up for my gaming PC. Now, not only do we have the option of using the remote control, we can just use the select button to switch backward and forwards. There we go, really quick and easy. One press of a button, and within a couple of seconds, you're back on your other machine. So it's really, really seamless and really easy. And not only do we have the remote control and the actual box to switch between them, we can also use the hotkeys. And in this case, it's just control, control, either page up and page down to switch between your two machines. So we go again, control, control, page up, and we go back to number one. Now, not only do we have the option of switching between our two machines backward and forward, you can also, press the A or the B button to just choose one display to change. So if you wanna keep an eye on something on another machine, you can literally be working on one and keeping an eye on one of the other displays for your other machine in the background. And as you can see here, I've got A is on one and B is on two. Of course, we could just switch them around the other way if you prefer, depending on what it is that you actually want. And lastly, I just wanna also mention one of the big features of this monitor is the fact that we have USB 3. Uh, one on the back and also one on the front. So I'm just gonna plug in an actual USB 3 T5 drive in here. And as you can see, it picks it up straight away. So the, my T-Smart is right in front of me. 
I now have access to my Samsung T5. Here we go, let me see we've got some you know, nice bit of B-roll or some downloads. And if I go across to my Mac and I go into my Finder, you can also see that my Samsung T5 is showing here as well. So it's really handy. So if, for instance, you've got a gaming PC, you've actually captured some gameplay footage on it and you wanna edit it on your Mac or your work PC, you can just literally copy it onto your drive, switch machines, and you've got access for all those files on the other machine. That can be really handy. Now this port does also carry power as well through USB 3, so you can also charge your phone or your iPad or another device through those front ports, which also could be quite useful. And the advantage these T-Smarts have over most basic KVMs that you buy off the shelf is the fact that you can do multi-monitor as well as multi-PC, and that's quite unusual. Most KVMs will only give you access to one keyboard, mouse, and display. So if you're interested in one of these T-Smart products, check out their website, link's in the description. If you've got any questions, as always, put it in the comment section, I will get back to you. And as always, thanks for watching.